Greetings YouTube and welcome back to my channel Queen Tasha TV. So today's video is going to be the infamous what I eat in a day video RV edition style where I am going to show you how I make and prepare my foods and things in my RV kitchen and show you what I eat. Um, you're curious on what my lifestyle on how I get to be so fabulous. <laughs> so let's get into it. Greetings, I'm Queen Tasha and welcome to my channel, Queen Tasha TV, where I share my very unique and alternative lifestyle from RV life and travel adventures to DIYs, how-tos, healthy living, and sustainability. I want to put a young black face to alternative living and inspire those watching that it's okay to be different and live your own best life. Please subscribe and join me each week on my journey to live fearlessly free. So each morning I usually start my day off with tea. And this tea blend comes from my self home apothecary um, that I keep for myself of different herbs that I use on a regular basis. Um, this blend is specifically for allergies and mucus and sinuses. Um, and I'm trying to, you know, clear out. I, I get really sinusy in the midst of different seasons so I'm just trying to you know clear all that out so today's blend is nettle leaf alfalfa leaf colt's foot and mullein and all of these things brought together are really good for clearing out mucus and clearing your sinuses and overall just like dealing with general allergies so that's what I have here so before I show you what I eat I want to first explain what my eating style is what most people would consider a diet <laughs> or this is just my eating style my eating lifestyle and for me I am gluten-free dairy-free and I call myself a plant-based pescatarian. So I do eat fish and seafood. Ain't nobody gonna get me to give up on crab legs, okay? <laughs> but I mainly eat plant-based and clean. I'm 80-20, so that for me means that most of my diet is clean. Most of my diet is attuning to what I am trying to live by. But every once in a while, I break my rules. And it has to be for something really good, but every once in a while, I break my rules. Now, I don't go and eat meat or any, any extra meats or anything, but I do have processed food, junk food, things that I like, which are the, which I consider most of the time are like the healthiest version of junk food, vegan junk food. <laughs> I feel like that's okay because I'm maintaining my weight and a little bit of processed food here and there. If it's its best value, least amount of ingredients, ingredients that you recognize, things that you could possibly make yourself, um, I prefer things like that. So, um, oh, also, I like to mention that I do also intermittent fast most days. Um, most days, I break my fast between 12 and two it just depends on what I ate as my last meal but that's usually when I um, break my fast and I intermittent fast for a lot of reasons at this point now I've been doing it and practicing it for so long that my body's just used to wanting food at that time but if it wants it earlier then I'll eat and break my fast earlier um, but for the most part I don't even I'm not even aware or I'm hungry until that time frame and so I just do what my body needs <laughs> I give it what it needs when it needs it um, but I start the day off with food intake as a green smoothie and I've been doing this probably now for the last 
I want to say five years or so where I mainly start the day off with a green smoothie. So that's what I'm gonna make first. I usually throw some fruits, some vegetables, I have some different powders and supplements um, in powder form that I put in there. I throw in some honey, and recently I have been throwing in some homemade CMOS gel. So that's what I'm gonna have as my first meal, which it's 12.34. <gasps> it's one, two, three, four. <laughs> That's awesome! Yay! That means good. That means good things are happening right now. <laughs> but I do plan on breaking my fast. Next for my second meal day is going to be one of my favorite things to eat, which is avocado toast. And I'm making it on a gluten-free everything bagel with fried eggs. I like it with fried eggs on top. And um, I put the avocado on the bagel or on the bread usually, and then I put the egg on top. I used to layer it the other way and it didn't work out as far as eating it without making a huge mess so it's better to spread your avocado on there first and then put your fried egg and then I sprinkle a little um, what do you call it nutritional yeast on top because I put that on everything <laughs> it makes everything taste so much better and then for my last meal I am going to have tuna tacos. So this is a new recipe for me for the last couple of years um, as I become pescatarian, but also coming from traveling on the road. This tuna taco, basically the tu canned tuna is going to be the base. I usually mix some onions in there with that and you know herbs and spices to make it taste like a taco meat kind of thing. And then you have your cut up veggies and now, because tacos is one of my favorite things, so I will buy taco accessories. And recently at the GW, AKA the Goodwill, um, I found some taco stands. So now I can build and eat my tacos. Very fancy like, with my taco stand. <laughs> so that is what we're gonna have for dinner, and that will be what I eat in a day. This is my last meal for the day, and I love tacos, so cheers. Mmm. Yum. I love my taco stand. It's so cool. So cool. Yummy. Very delicious. I hope you enjoyed finding out what I eat in a day and how I make food for myself in my tiny RV kitchen. If you want to see more of this type of content, type of food content, or what I eat, or recipes that I make, please comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace and blessings. I'm out.